Okay, today we're gonna be doing another Easter artwork. Um, I love Easter. I love to remember the real reason of Easter is that Christ has risen and that he died for us to wash away our sins. And I'm gonna remember that in here, even though really fun things about Easter. We go Easter egg hunting, get Easter baskets, lots of candy, it's so much fun. But I just always wanna remember the real reason is that he loves you so much. So today, you are gonna need a white piece of paper, a Sharpie, and a pencil. I am not gonna use a pencil today because I like for you to see my Sharpie. Pencil is sometimes hard to see on the camera. So go ahead and grab your stuff and we're gonna get started. Remember, if you need to pause the video at any time, you can pause the video if I'm going too fast or if you need to grab your supplies. All right, let's get started. So we're gonna be making this really cute bunny and a cute little chicky, and we're going to color it together. So let's get started. So we're gonna start with the little chicky. So over here on the left side, you're gonna make your beak. So we're gonna start with the beak, make a letter V, go up, come down. Make his little nose, nostrils to breathe with. Now you can change it up. I have like these cute little eyes right here. Well, you can change the eyes any way you want. I'm gonna make one wink, winking, so like a happy eye. And then I'm gonna make one over here with the eye open. It's gonna be big and cute. It's a cutesy eye. So then I would color this part in. You don't have to do that yet because you're following along with the video. You can do that last once you get your Sharpie ready. Or you could even use a black colored pencil or a black crayon if you don't have a Sharpie at home. Eyebrows. And then I'm gonna come around and come back up and then finish it off at the top. Then you got your little head, he's so cute. Let's make some little hairs, or little feathers, I should say, for your little Chicky. You can name your Chicky. I always encourage the kids to use their creativity and name their little critters that they make. They love that part. Now we're gonna make a little body. He's a little chubster. Money, I love them when they're so cute and little and chunky. All right, let's make his little feathers, or his, not his little feathers, his little wings. So come down, come back in, come down, come back in. Now he's starting to look more like a little chicky. Maybe I'll make him hold a little Easter egg because we're like on an Easter egg hunt. You could decorate the Easter egg, give it some patterns. Patterns are lines that are repeating or shapes that are repeating. Here's his little feet. He doesn't have like ducky feet. He's not a ducky, he's a chicky, so he has little chicky feet. They're not like webbed. All right, let's move on to the bunny. So I'm gonna start with the nose, just like I did with the chicky. And now I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna make it a little shorter than the chickie's nose. The chickie's nose is a long beak, so the bunny has a short little nose. A little light catcher for the bunny's nose. Then when you color it in, leave that light catcher white. Here a little reflection. And now we're gonna make his little mouth. So ready, here we go. Wee, up, and wee, up. Now you got two little sides to your mouth. All right, two lines coming down. We're making our little teeth. Come across and a line down the middle. Start to look more like a bunny, guys. I'm gonna give this one uh, two open eyes. So two big eyes, one and a two. And I'm gonna give him a couple light catchers, one there, a little part down at the bottom, and I'm gonna give one more right here. Again, you're leaving those white, and you're coloring it in. Now, if you accidentally color in one of them, it's okay. You could always take 
a white oil pastel, or if you wanted to put them back in, or you could take a white colored pencil and make your little dot come right back. Now some eyebrows for expression. And I think I'm gonna give this one, I think I'm gonna give this one eyelashes. All right, now let's start the head. So let's go around and come back up. And then bring it around at the top, stop. Now we need two bunny ears. So I'm gonna go up, go up, go up, come around and come back down. Do it again. Go up, go up, come around and come back down. Do one in the middle too. Boop. And boop. It's okay if they're not exactly even. Make your little whiskers. And now we got to do the body. So let's come down and come down. And he is sitting down. So let's make his big old feet. Make his big old feet. And close it off right there. So I'm going to make the little pads to his little feet. They're so cute. These little toes. Okay, and then I want to give him a little tail too. So you could either make it like a circle or you could go like this. Rainbow, 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 rainbow. And that's a little tail. I'm going to give him some arms. One here and one here. And then I'm going to come around and I'm going to make a little egg. Actually, it's a pretty big egg. He's holding a big egg. Now, if you go right here, I want to match it up on the other side. So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to start here, and then I'm going to go invisible, invisible, invisible. Now I want to make my line. Now I'm not going to finish on the other side yet because I want to do the same thing. Invisible, invisible, invisible. Start my line here so it matches up. It's okay if it doesn't match up perfectly. Now I'm going to decorate my awesome egg you can decorate it any way you want i'm just making some different lines on it you know there's squiggle lines straight lines bumpy lines curly lines all kinds of different lines and line is one of the elements of art element of art are our building blocks to creating art. So I'm gonna start creating a ground line because we don't want our little guys like floating in the air. And we're gonna like do the same thing we did before. Invisible, invisible, invisible line. Now we know where our little grass is gonna come. You guys could even create like little patches of grass like this. And then you could put like a little egg hiding. So they're on the egg hunt, they're trying to find that little egg. You could even just put little rainbow eggs right here. That's like a rainbow line. And you could create these little eggs coming out like that. And they could be finding those eggs. Okay, now on to the part, my favorite part, is the reason for the season is Jesus. So we're gonna like make a hill up here put the cross on it and then I'm gonna do the invisible line through his head bringing the other part of the mountain down so go like this invisible 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 line now if there's anything you want to change on yours you can always do something different you do not have to copy everything I'm doing you can add your own details that's what makes yours unique and different Okay, and we'll make a sun going around. So like a big rainbow there. And before I do my sun rays, which you don't have to do, cause you could put other things in the sky. You know, think about things that are in the sky. There's clouds. I'm gonna make a cloud. 
You could put a rainbow in the sky. You could put birds in the sky. Birds look something like this when they're off in the distance. And as they get further away, they get tinier. They're not actually getting tinier. They just look smaller because they're further away from you. That's called perspective. Okay, and then I'm going to add these lines. Remember our trick, invisible, invisible, invisible line, so that we can go underneath, because that's overlapping. The cloud is in front of our sun rays. You could make a sunset and not have the sun rays and just do fun clouds and colors in the sky that make it look like a sunset. Invisible, invisible, invisible line. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. Visible, invisible, invisible line. All right, now on this one over here, I did all kinds of lines just to add some detail. I'm not gonna do that on this one. I'm just gonna kind of leave it like this. And then you're gonna take your time and you're gonna outline it with Sharpie and then you can color it with crayons, color pencils. You could even watercolor it if you had watercolors. There's lots of fun ways to add color. You could use markers, whatever you wanna do to your awesome artwork. All right, guys, well, I hope you had fun and happy Easter. See you next time.